This is Frank. Frank is a 400 years old coral who lives on the Great Barrier Reef. He's so old that he's surrounded by his grand 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 kids. But what is a coral exactly? Corals like Frank are in a way an animal, a plant and a rock at the same time. The individual animals who form a coral are very similar to a jellyfish. And just like a jellyfish, they have stinging tentacles that they use to catch their prey. The main difference between a jellyfish and a coral is that a coral can produce a skeleton made of limestone, which is slowly laid layer upon layer over many many years. But corals, like Frank, are more than this. In fact, they are solar-powered animals. Instead of photovoltaic panels like we use, corals have microscopic algae living inside their body which harvest the energy of the sun and produce food for the coral in the form of sugar. In exchange, the coral gives a safe home and some key nutrients to its guests. These algae are what give color to the corals and without algae a coral becomes transparent and appears white because it reveals its limestone skeleton. The relationship between a coral and its algae is so important that without it, coral reefs will simply not exist. So going back to Frank, that guy has seen things. He was already a big coral when Captain James Cook passed by his reef in the year 1770. In his 400 years of life, Frank saw the ocean change quite a bit, and not in a good way. Especially in this last century, Frank noticed the ocean getting warmer, dirtier and more acidic. But Frank is big and tough, he dealt with it without major problems. But things started to get seriously dangerous in the year 1998, with the first event of mass coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. Coral bleaching events are becoming more and more frequent as a result of warming oceans due to our greenhouse gas emissions. Warmer oceans combined with the Niño events cause deadly spikes in temperature that exceed the tolerance of corals. If it stays too hot for too long, corals get some sort of an heat stroke and expel the algae they rely on for food and bleach. If it doesn't get any cooler quickly, corals literally starve to death. Frank survived the first two mass coral bleaching events, where many other corals did not, and overall the Great Barrier Reef was able to bounce back. However, in year 2016 things got a lot worse. The spike in temperature caused by a strong El Niño was so extreme that it caused the whole northern section of the Great Barrier Reef to bleach. Frank included. Frank tried to fight back and resist, but it was just too hot. Frank passed away, and now all is left of him is a white skeleton. The once thriving and incredibly colorful reef became an eerie landscape of death. Is there a future for Frank grand 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 grandkids? Will the Great Barrier Reef bounce back? Maybe. If we are lucky, it will, but scientists predict that if the trend of ocean warming continues, deadly spikes in temperature like the one who killed Frank, will become the norm by mid-century and the reef will simply have no time to recover. Can we do something about this? Yes, we can. We still have time to avoid the worst climate change scenarios. All we need to do is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and everyone can do something. Making a difference is actually easier than you think. I'll tell you three simple things that you can do to contribute to the solution of this problem 
and give a chance to the coral reefs of the world. First, you need to know that the meat industry is responsible for more greenhouse gas emissions than all transports combined. So cutting down your meat consumption and adopting a plant-based diet makes a big difference and it is something that anyone can do and will actually save you money. Second, go solar and go electric. Power your house and your electric vehicle with the free energy of the sun. And last, but not least, pressure your political party to support serious climate policies and divestment from fossil fuels. The future of the Great Barrier Reef is in your hands.